Okay, so welcome to part two of my little amigurumi baby pattern. In part one, I showed you how to make the main body, the head, the body, the arms and the legs. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the nappy and the hat. So if you want to know how to make the actual baby, do go check out part one. I'll put a link in the description. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to make the little nappy and the hat. So let's begin. I'm going to make a little yellow hat. I need a little bit of white for the nappy. So I'm going to start with the hat first and we're going to use the same hook size we've been using for the whole of the pattern. So this is a DK light worsted weight yarn as well and I'm still using a 3.5 millimeter E4 crochet hook. So I'm going to make a little yellow hat. What we're going to do is we're going to work 10 half double crochets into a four chain loop. So the first thing to do though is create a little slip knot and do chain four. So we're going to chain four, one, two, three and four. Slip stitch into your first chain. Bring the yarn through there and straight through the loop on your hook to create a little loop joined at the beginning and the end. In the middle is a hole. Into that hole we're going to work 10 half double crochets. So in UK terminology that's a half treble. So we're going to yarn over. Be careful not to work into your first chain hole which can look quite big. Find the actual centre. Bring the yarn through and then just wrapping it around. Yarn through all three to do a half double crochet. We want 10 of those. So that's one back into the middle. two, three, four, nine, and one more, ten. So we've got ten half double crochets in that full chain loop. And to bring in that hole, hopefully you've worked into the centre, not the first chain, you should be able to bring in that hole a little bit. Uh, then what we're going to do is we are going to going to slip stitch into our first half double crochet. Find your first half double crochet, slip stitch into there to join the round. So you should have a stitch count of 10. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do two half double crochets in each stitch round. We're going to start with a little chain one. Don't count that as a stitch. Then yarn over and going back into the same stitch you just slip stitched into, do two half double crochets. So one and another one in the same stitch. Okay, so you've got two in there. We're going to do two half double crochets in each stitch around until we've got a stitch count of 20. Okay, so two in the next one. Two in there as well. And two in each until you've got a stitch count of 20. Okay, just going up to the last stitch two half double crochet in there as well. So I've just done two half double crochets in each stitch around. You should have a stitch count now of 20 and then be careful not to work into your fake stitch. This is what I call the fake stitch so do check your stitch count. Find your first half double crochet and slip stitch into there to join the round. Okay. Then we're going to move on to the next round. So we're going to do a little chain one. Again, don't count as a stitch. Then we're going to do one half double crochet in the same stitch we just slip stitched into, just the one this time. And then two half double crochet in the next stitch. So two half double crochet in the next stitch. Then we're going to repeat that pattern doing one half double crochet, then two half double crochet, one half double crochet, then two half double crochet back to the beginning you'll end on two half double crochet and you should have a stitch count of 30. So in the next stitch just one half double crochet and in the next stitch two half double crochet. Coming up to the end, one half double crochet, then ending on two half double crochet. 
He should have a stitch count of 30. Should look a little something like this. Slip stitch in your first half double crochet to join. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do one half double crochet in each stitch around and we're going to do that for rounds four to seven. So four, five, six, seven, that's four rounds. Starting with a little chain one, we don't count that as a stitch. Yarn over and starting in the same stitch you slip stitch into, do one half double crochet and do one half double crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 30. And we're going to do that for four rounds. Okay, four rounds. So I should do that and then I shall come back. Okay, so just coming up to the last stitch on the fourth round. So I've done four rounds of just one half double crochet in each stitch round. I chained one at the beginning, don't count that as a stitch. Start in the same stitch with your slip stitch. Do one half double crochet in each stitch round, then we're just going to slip stitch in our first half double crochet, and you should still have a stitch count of 30. Okay, so that's the bulk of the hat. Then what we're going to do, we're just going to add a little pico edging like this, just to make it look a little bit more fancy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into the next stitch here and do a slip stitch. We're going to do a slip stitch in the next stitch as well. Then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Slip stitch in the same stitch below. So the same one again. That creates a little pico. Then we're just going to repeat that all the way around. So we're going to slip stitch in the next two. One and next stitch two. Chain three, one, two, three, chain three, slip stitch in the same stitch below, and repeat the same pattern, slip stitch in the next two. Okay, so repeat this all the way round back to the beginning to create a nice little edge, little pico edge. Slip stitch below. Okay. Slip stitch in the next two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just coming up to the end, I've got a few stitches left. Don't worry too much about stitch count, it's really not important. We just want to make sure that we get a little pico in between there. So Slip stitching into the next two. A bit stiff. And chain three for the last pico. Slip stitch below. And then we can just okay. Then we can just slip stitch in the next stitch to finish off if you want to <laughs> it's just been really difficult but then we're going to cut our yarn we're going to pull that remaining loop through and then we'll just hide our tail end on the inside. Let's just sew to the inside. Turn it inside out and then just sew through various stitches as neatly as you can. And then just trim down any excess will be hidden on the inside. So there is the little hat. Let's bring in our little baby. Just put that over her head. And now we're going to move on to the little nappy. So for the nappy we're going to get some white yarn. Now I appreciate that white doesn't 
show up too well on camera so hopefully you'll be able to follow along it's fairly simple pretty much starts the same as all the other bits and pieces we're going to start off with a four chain loop so do a little slip knot should seem quite familiar now chain four one two three and four slip stitch into your first chain bring the yarn through with a loop on your hook to form a loop and in the middle is your little hole there don't confuse it with your first chain hole which can look quite big and into there we're going to work eight single crochets so i'm going to put my hook into the center and just wrapping it around to a single crochet and we want eight of these so that's one two Three, seven, and last one, eight. So we've got eight single crochet, and hopefully, if you've worked in the middle, you should be able to bring in that hole with your tail end. Then we are going to slip stitch into our first single crochet. So two, four, six, eight. Slip stitch into there. to join the round. Okay, then we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around. We're going to start off a little chain one, don't count that as a stitch, and starting in the same stitch you just slip stitched into, we're going to do two single crochet, so one and another one in the same stitch. Okay, so you've got two in there, then two in each stitch around. So you'll end up with a stitch count of 16. That's right. So it's very similar to the beginning of the head of the body on the actual baby. So two single crochet in there, two single crochet in each stitch around until you've got a stitch count of 16. Okay, just coming up to the last stitch, two single crochet in there as well. careful not to work into your fake stitch do check your stitch count is 16 skip the fake stitch skip your tiny chain one which disappeared find your first single crochet and slip stitch into there okay then moving on to round three we're going to do a little chain one don't count that as a stitch this time we're going to do one single crochet then two single crochet one single crochet two single crochet back to the beginning to get a stitch count of 24 so it literally is just like the beginning of the head on the baby so starting in the same stitch you slip stitch into do one single crochet just the one then two single crochet in the next stitch one and another one in the same stitch two okay so two in there and just repeat that round so one single crochet two single crochet one single crochet two single crochet until you've got a stitch count of 24. let's go up to the last two same thing again one single crochet ending on two single crochet so you should end on two single crochet should have a stitch count of 24 then slip stitch into your first stitch okay so it should look a little something like this now what we're going to do is we are going to do a little chain one and starting in the same stitch you slip stitched into, we're going to do one single crochet in the first six, just the first six. So one, then one single crochet in the next stitch, two, one single crochet in the next stitch, three, one single crochet in the next stitch, four, one single crochet in the next stitch, five, then one single crochet in the next stitch. 
six. Okay, so one single crochet in the first six. Then we're going to skip four. Okay, so skip four stitches. One, two, three, four. Skip four and chain six. So chain one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is creating the holes to put the little legs through. So chain six, skip four, one, two, three, four. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next four. So in the next stitch, do a single crochet. So you end up with a little gap like that. So one, next stitch two, next stitch three, next stitch four. Okay, so one single crochet in the next four. Then we're going to chain six again. One, two, three, four, five and six so chain six then skip four again so skip one two three four then in the next stitch do a single crochet and we're going to do one single crochet in the next uh, six remaining six so one next stitch two next stitch three, next stitch, four, next stitch, five, and the last stitch, six. Okay, so one single crochet in the last six. And then slip stitch into your first single crochet to join. And what these little gaps here do, they're going to be where the little feet are going to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little chain one, don't count that as a stitch, starting in the same stitch you slip stitched into, do one single crochet in the first six. So one, next stitch, two, next stitch, three, next stitch, four, next stitch, five, next stitch, six that'll bring you up to your chains your six chain space and in your six chain space we're going to do four single crochet in there so just put your hook into that big gap do four single crochet so one two three and four and try and spread them nice and loosely over your chains then we're going to do one single crochet in the next four, these four are on here. Okay, the first one is right on the corner, so don't miss it. Do one single crochet in the next four. So one, two, next stitch three, and next stitch four. And then again, we're going to do four single crochet in this six chain space. Put your hook in this big six chain space, just wrapping it around the chains, do four single crochet. So one, spread them out nice and evenly. Two, three, and four. Okay, then we're just going to do one single crochet in the remaining six. Okay, first one is right on that corner there. So one, next stitch, two, next stitch, three, next stitch, four, five, and six. Okay, so you should be back at the beginning, slip stitch into your first stitch to join the round. So by the end of this round you should have a stitch count of 24 still. Okay, it should look a little something like this, should be coming together. Then the last round we're just going to finish up with one single crochet in each stitch around. So we're going to do a little chain one, starting in the same stitch you just slip stitched into and do one single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 24. Just one in each. OK, 
Okay, so back at the beginning, just done one single crochet in each stitch around. Still got a stitch count of 24. And slip stitch into your first single crochet to join the round. And that is, oh, I haven't got it that properly. That is the end of the nappy. So then what we're going to do is just going to cut our yarn. I'm going to pull the tail end so it should look like this around the front. This is the front and that's the back. I'm going to hide our tail end. I've left a really short one. Don't. Just going to hide that on the inside as neatly as I can. Okay, now you can just trim down any excess. Same with the original tail end on the inside. Just trim that down. Didn't do a much need to job the me because I'm up against the clock. But there we go, there is our little nappy. So all that's left to do now is put it onto our little baby. So there's his little hat, he or she, I don't know. And then just pop the legs through. And it should fit regardless of how you've sewn your legs on, as long as they're not like right out to the side, <laughs> they should fit. And then just pop that over his little bottom. There we go, nice clean nappy for baby. So there we go, that's the end of part two for the little hat and the nappy. Like I said, if you want to find out how to make the actual baby, do check out part one. Um, but I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you managed to follow along. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon for some more crochet fun. I've got three of them now. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.